from Lamu in Kenya where we are building a 24 meter recycled plastic sailing boat um, and in the last video we showed you how we made the, all the steps we went um, to build the first 9 meter prototype and now finally we are going to look into the process of building the big boat uh, which will bring a lot more challenges and um, yeah they call me engineer here but I'm only half the engineer I would like to be so I needed some more help and uh, this is uh, what I have <laughs> so yeah this is Michael and we met at Precious Plastic the project where we've both been working at to develop some small-scale solutions for plastic recycling and uh, he actually made was part of build, building a big sheet press to make pretty cool sheets so that's something cool to check out there will probably be more people joining this whole process but for now we are basically the ones kick-starting this research and development uh, process for the flip floppy coupon and and you might think well, why do you have to do any research and development you already built this prototype and so why why don't you just use the same process uh, and there's a couple of reasons uh, one is this boat is going to be more than double the length. Okay, so here we have our whiteboard. So I'm just going to demonstrate it with a line. So we have the first line and then I'm going to double the length of this line. But then if it's an area that we're concerned with, this area is actually four times the area of our initial square. And then if we are talking about a volume, the volume is actually eight times the volume of our cube. Uh, so we're not dealing with double the volume, uh, we're dealing with eight times the volume. And so that has a couple of implications. Uh, so if you look at our prototype, so one of the, the ways a boat can fail is when it's lying on its side like this. Uh, and that's because it's lying on only a couple of ribs and it has all of the weight of the boat resting on those ribs. And so if our uh, flip floppy kubwa, the big boat, is eight times the weight, uh, then the problem is much, much more complicated. And we have to make sure those parts are much, much stronger. So I'm here inside a boat that's actually a very similar build uh, to the flip floppy kubwa, the one that we'd like to build now. Uh, and as you can see, it has a lot of unique parts. And so all these ribs uh, are of a slightly different shape. And the process that was used last time required a mold for every single every single part, every single unique shape. Uh, and we'd really like to avoid that this time uh, because that's a lot of work to make every single one of those molds and that's a lot of material as well and costs. Uh, so we'd really like to focus on and develop a process that we can avoid uh, a mold for every single, every single part basically. Uh, so one of the challenges is just simply going to be making really big parts. So here you can see a couple of attempts at that. Uh, that's something that we're going to be looking into, making really big parts uh, and of a reliable quality as well out of recycled plastic. So yeah, overall, a lot of improvements that we could make to the original process, as well as plenty of new challenges that are associated with building a boat that's just much bigger. And recently we had an engineering meeting with the team to discuss some of the ideas that we've been having um, on how to build some of these big parts and all these unique parts uh, and I'd actually like to show you uh, some of this meeting uh, so yeah and if you have any comments any uh, thoughts on on some of these ideas we'd love to hear your feedback as well uh, so here it is and I hereby declare the meeting open um, and hand over to the chair um, Katerina hello I'm the chair so we have a couple of activities going on at the same time. Yeah, so Michael will basically go through the concepts um, and our thoughts um, behind them. Uh, so enjoy. So definitely one of the concepts would be uh, to use a similar process as last time, but probably kind of adapt it a bit as well. And so we would need to make uh, modifications to ensure that uh, you know, we apply some more heat and some more pressure um, to these molds. Um, for the second concept, it would be going with kind of a modular uh, system of molds. Uh, so you would have a certain number of molds, which kind of look slightly different. And depending on the way you put it together, you can also get different parts from that. 
And so you can see here in the example that there are four, four molds here that go together to make two different parts and they could be uh, put together to make a variety of different parts as well. And so the, the good thing about this is we can make uh, very high quality, accurate parts um, and we can design these molds to take pressure as well from the from the new extrusion machine. Whereas the other the other molds don't take any pressure, so, so it's very hard to get out those voids, um, and it's very hard to get a high quality product as well. So the third concept is one that we definitely want to try uh, because it solves some of these problems. Um, so the idea would be to inject uh, straight beams. Uh, and really just focusing on the ribs, uh, this, this, this process, because that's, that's where, where we see you know, like a, a lot of the challenge. Um, so just making straight beams and then afterwards heating them and bending them to your requirements. And this process is kind of analogous uh, to steam bending. I and, love that, yeah. And one of the advantages of, of this one that it doesn't require specific molds and is applicable to any product really. Um, and so we could use this setup uh, after the boat's built to make anything we want. Um, and so we think it's definitely worth uh, trying. So we want to do some small tests around this. Brilliant. It's going to work. Not a problem. <laughs> so I'll just stop the meeting now. It's done. Yeah, it's done. <laughs> Honestly, it's, that is perfect. Anyway, great idea. It'll work. Um, so yeah, amazing reaction from the team, basically giving us the green light to, to proceed with some of these ideas. Uh, so we're really excited to get going. Uh, next week, we have a really exciting video coming where we start to build and test certain things. And to give you a little hint, we're gonna be using the sun uh, to be turning all that plastic waste on Ali's property uh, into some of the biggest plastic parts we've seen. I also just wanted to mention that this is a volunteer driven project and a lot of the things that we do are funded by our supporters. Uh, so if you would like to support, uh, one of the best ways to do that is with uh, Patreon. So we'll include a link to that in the description. Uh, but yeah, thank you.